Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Anime and life is very stressful. <coughs> Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a life update while showing you how I do my makeup every day for work, for life. I'm not working today. Woo! Um, and it's just basically this. Uh, and I just talk about some of those products and generally what's happening in life. Uh, it's kind of about the fact that I'm moving in, I don't even know, I think it's five weeks now. Let's bring up that countdown. Um, and the fact that there's just been some breakthroughs recently. And five weeks and two days, oh my god. So, um, yeah, I kind of explain everything in the video. So just keep watching and follow me on Instagram at anime.yt to keep up with everything else as well. So, let's get into me actually doing my makeup. Let's start with the makeup. Um, I'm assuming in whatever intro I did for this video, um, I'm gonna zoom this in. Uh, I don't wanna zoom it in that much more. Ah. Beautiful. I'm assuming in the intro of this video, um, also I have a mirror here, sorry if I'm moving it around a lot. Um, I kind of introduced what I was going to be talking about, but basically I haven't posted a video in quite a while. There is a reason for this. I'm using the Revolution, Make Revolution London Stick Foundation in F2. It's pretty light coverage to be honest, but it's really blendable. It doesn't stay super well, I will say that. but um, I just don't want to use my other foundation today because I'm super pale. Usually I'm wearing things that like cover up to here because it's so cold in work on like long sleeves, but I'm not today. So you can actually see my skin color and I need a paler foundation, so. But um, I'm assuming I addressed what I was gonna be talking about, but I haven't posted, look at my pores, girl. Um, I am, I was not posting. <laughs> for a bit because uh, A, I was working a lot, that's good for now, and um, also I was kind of hoping by the next time, I, this is cute, this is a look right here, um, by the next time I posted I would have some sort of news, some sort of internship, some sort of interview or you know something like that. but. In recent days, and in by recent days I mean yesterday, um, s we learned something new. So my dad and I are very alike, and if you know what I'm like in person, I'm a very uh, intense person. And my dad has been secretly stressy about this whole thing. And um, he called my program like the program that I'm doing this with like my visa program without telling me um and was talking to one of the coordinators now I should be kind of mad at him for doing this but I'm I'm not because we got a lot of information out of it so he was talking to one of the coordinators and was like she has I look terrible in this lighting don't worry it looks way better in person <laughs> god but he was saying you know, she hasn't had any luck. She's done about 30 applications and we haven't heard anything back. Well, we have heard anything, have heard, we have heard things back, but they're all rejections. Oh my God, I look horrendous in the viewfinder. Um, you can see it's a bit better up there. It's just real glossy right now. And she was like, of course. And he was like, what do you, what do you mean, of course? And she's like, the chances of you getting hired while still geographically in Ireland are minuscule. So I'm actually way better off to wait till I get there. Silent. That's my best friend though, because I just sent her a voice message. Um, so yeah, does anybody else just send voice messages when in times of crisis? Because same. Um, so she was like, yeah, you're better off just waiting. You'll be able to get something there, most likely. If not, you're fucked. She didn't say that. I know that. Um, 
but yeah so basically I shouldn't be panicking oh my word why did so much product come out I should not be panicking about this whole thing um because I should just be waiting till I get there to do what I've been doing for the last two and a half months which now leaves with a big question. First off, my foundation does not now look good in person because I put too much on, but I'm not gonna change it. I could take it off and try and fix it, but we're not gonna do that because I'm not bothered. I'm not going to work today. Obviously, it's still the daytime, it's still the morning time, but um, it's just like 10 a.m. So, the new question is, where am I gonna live? So, comment down below your suggestions. It's basically between New York and DC. Um, they both have similar, but kind of different opportunities. And the reason I hadn't chosen a city, this is uh, the Zoeva Graphic Brows pencil. It's not that good, it's new. Um, but the reason I hadn't chosen something up until this point was that my answer was I'm going to go where the opportunity is. But it turns out none of those opportunities are going to be hiring me until I'm in the country. So I just hit that with my foot. So I have to choose. <laughs> and I'm stressed. I look appalling right now. I look like such a greasy mess. Um, so, now taking suggestions, uh, where should I fucking move to? Because I don't know. So, yeah, part of the stress of this is that I am doing it alone. Um, so I don't have that kind of guidance and especially looking for, like, housing and stuff like that. So, um... Been trying to find like Facebook groups, but I have not been able to find anything. There's a LinkedIn group, but like nobody posts anything in it ever. So I think it's all like older applicants in it as well, like people who've done it years ago because it it doesn't have a, a an assigned like year. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna put powder on uh, once I'm done my brows because I cannot cope with looking at myself this greasy. Um, but yeah. Basically, that's that now. So I have to make that big old life decision and even my dad was like, you know, maybe you get a placement for like six months, then you can move. And I was like, okay, fair. Um, but it's just, there are lots of exciting opportunities and they're not all in the same place. So that is kind of the worry at the minute. And things are all very serious and that's basically why I haven't been posting so much um also it's like still pretty much dark when I leave for work and it's definitely dark when I come home so that has also not been the most fun um but I only have 16 more days that I'm scheduled to work before I'm done there which is crazy um and exciting so now I just kind of feel like I'm postponing this internship placement stress. If I didn't address it already, I'm on the J1, uh, one year J1 graduate visa. It's like a, it's an internship visa. So there's lots of specifics that I have to adhere to um, while on that visa, like the placement and stuff like that, which has made it extra difficult. But um, yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, so that is the big question of this video. Where should I move to? Um, yeah, other than that, like, I would say, like, life is good. Life is pretty good. Like, it's it's not that good, to be honest. Um, this light is, like, not flattering my under eye. I actually don't really have dark under eye circles, which is why it looks weird. Um, so I've been working quite a bit. And um, 
I'm, this is just a Too Faced shadow insurance. Oh, my face powder was the Mina, the compact powder, in the color 202. Um, it's inexpensive. They discontinued my favorite powder, the um, foundation powder, the cocoa powder foundation from Too Faced. Rude. So a little fun fact, I actually wear eyeshadow every single day, which seems a little extreme. Uh, I work in a local boutique at the minute and like it's, I'm not going to say it's not old people but like it's it's not a uh, young young boutique. Um, like people my age don't shop there but um, I wear like eyeshadow every single day as you can see I really do hit pan on this thing. This is the Stila Eyes of the Window palette in mind um, and you can obviously see what my favourite shades are, I'm trying to keep the mirror down here. But I especially love this colour with this in the crease. These two are fabulous. And then this colour with this as like an accent colour. And as you can see, I don't really use the grey kind of neutrals. It's just kind of these and those. Because I never wear cool toned eyeshadow. It just doesn't work for me. Um, I wear kind of a pink look a lot. So I'm just going to do a... The brown, I'm gonna use these three across here. This kind of in the brow, um, this on the lid, and this in the crease. It is quite dark brown. Just a warning. So I think as I started saying, and then I cut myself off, it's pushing this internship stress further along, but it means that I get to um, start other more, not more exciting, but yeah, more exciting things sooner so I can kind of I'm nervous about looking for housing it's just something I don't know I'm just nervous because I feel like I don't know it just makes me nervous I had bad experiences in college um, in the student housing that I lived in so I'm just nervous of issues like that again but they weren't major, well they kind of were, but um, I'm a big girl now <laughs> and I should be able to figure it out. But yeah, if you want to suggest which city I should move to, if you have any knowledge of like politics and politics internships. Um, I don't really want to say places that I'm applying to necessarily. I would love to work for a political candidate. Um, that is something that is possible for me to do. There's a lot of things that are not because I'm not a US citizen. Um, and then there's also um, things that will be, will be extra good but I probably won't get because I'm I have only done undergrad and eh, eh, that's my whole reaction. This keeps going out of focus. It's stupid. Um, also, if you catch a glimpse of my arm, I don't take drugs. Uh, it is that I um, had blood taken this day last week and I got stabbed just a little bit. So um, people are like, oh, you must bruise so easy. I actually don't bruise that easy. It's because... If you're squeamish, don't look at this, but maybe I'll insert a photo here. What happened last time I gave blood? Uh, they couldn't find a vein, surprisingly enough. And uh, then they had to, this guy couldn't find a vein on either of my arms. And then he called over the woman in charge. And she was like, she couldn't find a vein. And then she's like, oh, that's a vein there. And I was looking at her and I was like, you sure? Um, and she was like, yeah. She was wrong. It was not a vein, as you can see from that image. Apologies if it offended you. Um, but that, that bruising went on for like over a week and a half. I'd say near two weeks. Um, it was not cute. Not cute. I had to keep trying to cover it up for work. It was in the like summer as well. Like the weather was good enough that I wasn't wearing full sleeves all the time at work. So like now it's fine because I have to wear like long sleeves, high neck, multiple thermal vests, like. But at that point, it was still like short sleeve season. Um, so I wore a lot of like shirts and stuff with the sleeves, just a little bit rolled up, but it kind of extend, it ended up extending down my arm. 
um, which made things a little bit more difficult. So, um, yeah, that's what's new with me. What's new with you? On a more positive note, now, once I like choose a city, I feel like I'm always going to be doubting myself. But once I do choose a city, um, I can kind of start packing and prepping myself for that, finding housing. Um, I, I know it seems weird because I haven't been posting that much, but I did intend on doing Vlogmas this year because I've, this keeps catching in my tights. I'm working until the 14th of December. Um, that's too much eyeshadow. Um, yeah, so I'm only working until the 14th of December and I move on the 27th. So I think it's going to be, a, you know, a good time, even if I do like kind of combine vlogmas kind of vibe, if you know what I mean? Like I, I did weekends and a couple of days and stuff like that because, um, I think around the 1st is when my mum and myself said that we think it's appropriate to decorate our house because um, we don't decorate any earlier than that like ever um, and then I'm just using NYX eyeliner um, and then on the, when is it, on the 7th I am going to London for three days. Uh, my best friend, one of my best friends, she goes to college there. She's a med student there. She's very cool. Shout out to you, Rebecca. I know you're not fucking watching this. Um, and we are going to do some fun stuff in London. And she's always willing to be my Instagram boyfriend. She's really good like that. <laughs> and uh, so that's pretty fun. And then I'm coming back and then that's my last week of work. And then I am done on the 14th. And on the 15th, Rebecca comes back for Christmas, which is amazing. Because we've been doing this long distance friendship thing for like a long time. And I feel like we should maybe do a video. I'll see if I can convince her to do a video on it. On how we've like, she's, she's going to say no. But how, on how we've managed to do it for so long. Because even as little kids, we've been friends since we were little, little kids. Because she is a day younger than my brother. So our moms, our dads worked together and our moms like knew each other. And they were both like, this when they were like, <laughs> in the really early weeks of pregnancy. And they kind of scoped each other out and realized that they were both pregnant. So um, that said though, Garvin was like, my brother was like two weeks or ten days late. And Rebecca was like a week early. But um they were still very close uh, in their pregnancies. And yeah, our moms are still best friends. Um, and yeah, so I we've known each other literally since she was born. And she, I lived in Singapore as a child. That's why if you're Irish and you're watching this, it's only really Irish people who can tell. They're like, why does she speak so weird? Uh, first, I'm congested. Second, I lived in Singapore. Right around apparently the age that you're, um, accent will like solidify is what I've learned. I'm using the Too Faced Cocoa Powder uh, foundation, not foundation, bronzer. Um, right around the time that your accent solidifies. So that's kind of my recent, I recently kind of figured that out and that's kind of my new excuse for why I speak weirdly. It's also an argument I could definitely make about, I'm not gonna go into it, but it's about like being understood and speaking clearly um, and understanding people from other countries, other cultures and people who speak different languages and making sure that they can understand you and that is just a big old argument that my dad has convinced me is very important in life. So um, yeah, so I lived in Singapore for two years, then I was back here for a number of years and then um, I'm Irish, if you didn't catch that. and. Um, then she lived in Dubai for four years and then <laughs> that's the year that we would have gone to the same school had she not moved that academic year we would have been in the same school for once because we didn't go to the same primary school and um the year that oh damn oh I made a mistake um the year that she moved back 
I moved to college in Dublin and then last year she could have gone to my university but decided to go to King's College in London. So we keep, I think when she moved to like London to go to King's, I'm pretty sure it was like our third time in 10 years officially living in different countries, which like, now I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna make it even worse, I'm gonna move further away. But um, yeah, we're pretty good at it. We should definitely make a video about it. Um, if she's willing to, which is doubtful. Um, so I got this new eyelash curler from Kevin Kwan. I had the nastiest eyelash curler from, um, I think it was Pennies, and the silicone was like split and everything and my eyelashes got stuck in it and I had to like pull it out. So I got a new one. Be proud of me. Um, so yeah, so going back to, I'm just like rambling like crazy, but that's what these videos are for, right? Um, so it does work really well though, I will say. Um, so going to London for three days, then a couple days at home, and that's going to be like intense, um, because I'm leaving so soon after that, and then she comes home on the 15th, and then we're like right in the run up to Christmas, which is fun. And her mom wants to have a going away party for me. She's like, we need to have something for me. And I was like, yeah, okay. I, I'll take a party. I think that's fine with me. Um, I'm using the uh, Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. If you have not tried this, uh, go get it. It's the best mascara. Um, mine is running a little low at this point because I've had it for, I'd say, coming up on the three months. Um, this particular bottle, but... Uh, might try some of the other, like the volume one or something, but it's pretty amazing. And people often do ask me if I've, if I have fake eyelashes on or eyelash extensions, but I don't. Um, is genetics? It's amazing mascara. I will say though, I am very lucky with um, my lashes, my natural lashes. It's just something I've been blessed with. Don't judge me for my blush. <laughs> So this is a really old CoverGirl blush, but I really like it, especially when I'm wearing a lighter foundation. And then this is obviously uh, from a Benefit boxed bronzer. I think this is actually from Hoola, but I would never use this for bronzer. It's really not a good brush, in my opinion. Uh, but I'm gonna kind of use this as a, as a highlighter too, because girl doesn't need highlighter. I'm a greasy girl, so I don't need any highlighter. So last but not least, I'm just gonna throw on the NYX Lip Lingerie in number four, Ruffle Trim, J number four. Uh, it's pretty dark, so I don't know if I will leave it on, but I'm gonna put it on for the moment to kind of complete this very autumn winter look. This is kind of the thing I would wear every day for work. Uh, the lighting here, Makes it look a little bit more like drag, but. So that is the lip color. It's nice, it's quite dark, but it's probably not that dark on people who are not as pale as me. Um, I am not washed out in the camera. This is how pale I am. But uh, it's nice. Like you can still wear it every day. So that's the finished look. Um, I'm probably gonna wear a headband with this because they give me power uh, and I need earrings and necklace and whatever but this was just me doing my makeup uh, I hope you enjoyed that super rambly life update but uh, hopefully you can understand how confusing and stressy things are I'm gonna zoom out a little bit I hope you can just understand how like stressy things can be at the minute but it is also very very exciting so be sure to follow me on Instagram at anime.yt especially if you made it through this video like congratulations um, that is it for this video. If you have any questions about anything or you feel the need to at me about my makeup application, leave a comment down below. Uh, <laughs> and subscribe to my channel to see, I don't know where I'm pointing here, subscribe to my channel to see my kind of vlogmas series. I'm gonna be doing a packing series, uh, which is probably gonna start 
possibly today uh, I'm going to be organizing things to sell on Depop because apparently now I don't need to work on applications every waking moment so I can just do random shit like that also if you like planner things while well, this video is so fucking long already uh, you can subscribe to my planner channel I have it up in the cards I think it's on this side anime plans uh, if that's a foreign world to you welcome uh, but yeah I also have a planner Instagram at anime plans be linked down below thank you for sticking with me through this and I will see you in my next video hopefully